Let's go ahead and start with the Galaxy Note 5. Go ahead and place the iPhone on the back here. As you can see in the corner, it did start wirelessly charging. What's up guys, I'm Eric from TechSode TV. This is a prototype of the iPhone 11, and what you just saw was a new feature that is tentatively being called Power Buddy. Now, personally, I think the name Power Thief would have made a bit more sense because as you guys just saw, I put the iPhone 11 on the back of a Galaxy Note 5, and it just started pulling power from the Note 5 wirelessly. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how to set this up in the settings, and I'm gonna show you how well it works, but first, let me explain what's going on here. Now, some of you guys are probably already familiar with a feature called PowerShare that's on the Galaxy S10. And the way that works is you pull your notification shade down and at the bottom, you're gonna see a feature called wireless PowerShare. You turn that on, flip your phone over, put another phone on the back of it. And as you can see, I'm now wirelessly charging the iPhone 11 from the Galaxy S10. Now the iPhone 11 is working on a similar premise, but the difference is that instead of sharing its power, the iPhone 11 is taking power from other devices. So the way it's doing this is through electromagnetic communication. So any device that has a wireless charging coil in the back of it is capable of this communication. And the way it works is if you vary the frequency that you are applying the voltage to that coil, and you also vary the voltage levels, you can actually create a digital communication between two different devices. And this is one of the methods of communication that's used in galvanically isolated devices and electronics. Now there's different types of galvanic isolation. Some is optical, but some is also electromagnetic, which is what's happening right here. And they're using a similar technology to communicate as those galvanically isolated electronics. If you're curious about galvanic isolation in general, then I'll leave a Wikipedia link down in the description. You guys can check that out and learn a bit more about it. So what's happening is the iPhone is communicating to the other device and it's telling it to energize its coil so that the iPhone can start charging off of it. So it's a pretty simple concept and I'm gonna show you guys in just a minute that it works very well. So to enable this feature, the first thing you need to do is go to settings, then scroll down and tap battery. So as you can see, there's a new feature at the top called Power Buddy. Now this is a tentative name, it may change later, um, but I highly doubt they're gonna change the name to Power Thief, but it's actually really simple. All you have to do is tap the toggle and now it's enabled. So as you can see, it was pretty simple, just one quick tap and you're good to go. Very similar to the Galaxy S10. Uh, you did have to kind of dig through some settings, but I'm pretty sure that by the time Apple releases this on the full version of the iPhone 11, that they will have a toggle in the control center somewhere. I couldn't find one anywhere, so I'm assuming that for now, this is the only way to do it. But hopefully when they release the full version, they will have a toggle in the control center. All right, so let me go grab some devices and we'll test this out. So I have a number of devices here in front of me. I have the Galaxy Note 5, Galaxy S6, Gear S3, and of course my Galaxy Buds here. Let's go ahead and start with the Galaxy Note 5. Go ahead and place the iPhone on the back here. As you can see in the corner, it did start wirelessly charging. Let's go ahead and pop that off and now try the Galaxy S6. Started wirelessly charging right away. Not bad at all. And as I pull it off, you can see that the wireless charging does stop in the corner there. Let's go ahead and test the Gear S3 out, see if I can get that. There we go. Gear S3 is working as well, no problems there. Pop that off, and last but not least, the Galaxy Buds. Let's go ahead and try to get those lined up just right back here. And there you go. So wireless charging on the Galaxy Buds as well. So as you can see, this works really well with all of these devices. But honestly, when you think about it, it doesn't make too much sense to be using this feature with like the Gear S3 uh, or the Galaxy Buds because these batteries are so small that you're really not gonna get much juice out of these to fill up your iPhone. Like you're gonna get like what, 5%? You're gonna totally kill the battery on these two devices but a place where it makes a lot of sense to use this feature and it's like really useful and really valuable is let's say you went on a trip with like your spouse, for example, and they have a different phone, like a, like a Galaxy device or something like that. And you forgot to bring a lightning cable to charge your device. And since you're on a trip, you also don't have like a wireless charging pad either. Well, they could plug their device in, flip their device over, you can place your device on the back of their device, and now you can charge both devices with one charger, which is actually a pretty legitimate way to use this feature. So let me know what you think this feature should be called. Apple's calling it Power Buddy right now. I'm calling it Power Thief, but I wanna know what you guys wanna call it. Either way, let me know down in the comments below. 
And as always, don't forget to like the video if you liked it, share it if you loved it, and subscribe to see my upcoming Galaxy S10 coverage, as well as some Galaxy Buds coverage, and obviously some iPhone 11 coverage when the official one is released later this year. And while you're at it, don't forget to smack that notification bell so you can be the first to know when the videos drop. That's it for this tech episode. God bless guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.